Hello, what are we doing here for the Hammer Game Channel? Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 A to Z Kai's Redux Edition, where today we are playing as the CSA and we're going to have a good old fun time bringing technocracy to the nation once we've won the Civil War. So, yeah, we have a lot of work to do, so let's hop on into it. So, obviously, for the purposes of this video, I have went ahead and uh, got to the point where the American Civil War is just about to begin. Well, well, well. Thank you, Mr. Huey Long. Thank you very much for the peace offer. We are going to go ahead and we are going to accept this for the time being. And peace for the PSA. Um, do you know what? I am going to go ahead and accept that battle for New York. Well, we are going to win that battle. I am I am keeping New York. They are not getting it. Okay, the Second American Civil War has begun. The Union of Britain and the Commune of France are both willing to send me volunteers. So we'll go ahead and accept those. Well, that's already looking pretty good to me, actually. I might just pump out some of these infantry templates. Because right now, oh, hell, as much as I love getting the... Um, the additional militia troops, you know, it's they're 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 awful. They're absolutely awful. Okay, so far so good. We're defending against the CAR. I've went ahead and flipped all these divisions here on the American border to the infantry divisions. Sorry, Mr. Al Capone, I do not want your aid. I do not need it. Goodbye. Okay, we're now all on infantry templates. I have a funny feeling we might actually be able to push the Constitutional American Republic. No, 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 no. Prolong the treaty. Prolong the treaty. Thanks, Congress. Why would you do that, you idiots? I'm not ready for it. Oh, my days. Emergency reserves have been called up. Thank heavens for that. Where are all the American troops gone? What the hell? Washington has fallen. What Washington has actually legit fallen. Yeah, the, the federal lists have collapsed. Western Command is dead. Which means every single... Unionist division is going to be heading towards us. We're pushing quite nicely into the CER right now. We are managing to hold the line for the most part against the American Union states. No, don't keep, don't go back. Just keep going towards Charleston, please. We're getting closer and closer to Atlanta, which I'm hoping is going to be the final blow. Yeah, the, the CER have got to be dead with the fall of Atlanta. There's no way. Yeah, Atlanta's gone. There goes the CER. Well, we're at war with the PSA now. That, that, that's fine. That's fine. Is that an encirclement? As if so, that's a pretty damn nice encirclement. Oh, that's that's a very nice encirclement. <laughs> oh, they are trying to push their way back out. They've actually abandoned in here. Sorry, Canada. Why? Why? Okay, the American Union state is dead. The real question is, are we able to sign peace with them? Because we could, we could probably do with peace being signed, considering... What's about to potentially happen. Right, I reckon what we do is we take the ceasefire, possibly. Fine, we'll accept this. Okay, I'm fine with that. So that means I can go ahead and absolutely obliterate the Canadians. Ah, the end of the American Civil War and the Pacific States has joined the Entente. What? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, just do the scripted peace deal, please. I'd, I'm going to have to fight the third international at this rate. I honestly cannot believe what I'm witnessing. I, I can't believe Mexico jumped in like that. I, I I can't believe it. Oh, I can break the ceasefire. Wasn't really in position to do that. No way, at least I'm making New England out of this. Oh, I'm actually going to get nothing in this. Mexico, you better give me that land back, mate. You better give me this back or I am invading you with my entire army. Well, at least we are classed as winning the Civil War now, so we can start working down our tree. So the Constitutional Convention has begun, so we're going to see who takes over at this point. Can't believe we're going to have to fight the Third International as a blinking syndicalist nation. Ah, perfect. Fantastic. So step one is done. James Burnham is going to win the election. He's going to be put into power. There we go. James Burnham which will then allow us to work down President Burnham's tree and we just need to get down to the Continental Socialist Society and then Lovestone will take over and then I think we have to just have to do Technocratic Subjugation and then we'll get another event which will hopefully result in the ascendancy of technocracy. Ah yes, it's the fun job of rebuilding our nation which we can't fully do because of Mexico. So thank you for that Mexico, thank you, thank you very much but we'll start off with New England and then we'll work our way West. Ah, yes, perfect. The event I have been waiting for. We have a choice here. We can either increase surveillance on Jay Lovestone, or our current surveillance is fine. We need to choose the second option here. It's fine. Oh, second Velcroig is underway. Oh, no. James Burnham is dead. Oh, well, what a terrible shame. Lovestone has taken over. And there he is, 
So we'll go ahead and actually stop doing this focus for the time being. And we will jump straight down to his part of the tree. And we shall work down to the technocratic subjugation and we're waiting for an event in regards to Howard Scott. Okay, so I think this is the event we've been waiting for because it talks about getting, you know, dealing with Howard Scott once and for all by getting him arrested. So let's go ahead and finish him off. Perfect, that was the right choice that we made in the last event because Howard Scott and Technocracy Inc. have disappeared. Okay, so we've got another event. Scott has been spotted and we could deal with him here and now. We can send every man and machine to Bayfield County to crush him. But what we're going to do is we're going to heed Lovestone's caution and let Scott go. It's going to bite us in the backside. Mission failed. There will be no next time. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I'm guessing that's a little play on uh, mission failed. We'll get them next time from uh, good old Call of Duty. But yeah, he, Lovestone's caution and restraint towards Scott has resulted in Scott and Loeb's technocrats storming the capital. And the allies of technocracy have won. And the technocratic council is now here. Wonderful. The ascendancy of technocracy. The council decides it's time to elect our glorious leader. The technocratic council does not wish to rule forever. And the council has decided that Harold Loeb and his utopian CCOT will take power. And the CCOT brings true utopia. We become the, the, the utopian technates of America and the CTLT becomes a ruling party. I think that means there is now Russian involvement. Yes, there is indeed. Poland is in the Commonwealth of Free States, independent nations. Um, so yeah, war is, war is spreading. Germany's actually losing, it would appear. The one time I don't want the coming of Blinken France to win. So we're going to have to invade Mexico, aren't we? Oh, great, I'm going to have to save Europe. And Transmir is up to war with Russia now. Well, the Harmonious Compact for Utopia faction has formed. I am, of course, the only nation in this right now, but oh boy, will we spread our glorious influence across the globe. No way. No way. I, I can't believe I can't believe what's just happened. The fall, the fall of Berlin. The, the Reichspact is, is gone. France has actually done it. In the one game, I didn't need them to bloody do it. Well, 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 Mexico. It's almost time for you to meet my wrath, I think. Right, so we've got a couple of naval invasions almost ready to go. We're just going to try and take out as many ports possible to basically limit the amount of support that the Third International can send Mexico. Because as soon as our navy's landed, we will be going to convoy raiding and will hopefully destroy a lot of divisions that they're going to try and send across, which will be very funny. But anyways, let's declare war. Okay, our naval invasions of Southern Mexico are underway does look like they're defending some of them, but that is that is fine. We will we will deal with that. Okay, pretty much secured all the ports down here in the south, except from this port here. But that that's looking pretty good. So what we'll do is we'll change that to convoy raiding, and we will hopefully absolutely decimate the reinforcements they're going to attempt to send. So the last port access. Mexico really has is about to fall down here. Uh, it's literally just going to be the ports over here at Los Angeles. That's that's not going to bother me too much. The last port over here has fallen as well. Got a nice little encirclement that has been dealt with. And Mexico does look like they're about to capitulate very, very soon. Probably with the fall of Mexico City. Yeah, there we go. So it's just a simple case of mop up the rest of the divisions that still remain. Well, 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 we're here in Africa to help out the French, so we'll help them deal with this southern push in Africa by the Commune, and then we'll head up north to help deal with that, because obviously they're going to be where we stage our liberation of Europe from. Okay, we'll certainly need to get north as soon as possible before Algiers falls. Well, Iran is very close to falling. And with it, it's going to be a nice wee chunk of the Union of Britain's troops. Actually, in a weird way, there's no real reason for us to go to war with Canada. Well, I suppose we've got in a focus tree, but... We could just leave the Entente alone. Then again, they'll probably eventually invade us anyways, because I'm going to take the Union of Britain. If I take over the Union of Britain, I'm taking the Union of Britain. I'm not letting them exist. Well, that's a nice wee encirclement dealt with. Happy days. And we are doing quite nicely in the north as well. The rest of the divisions are coming to reinforce this. Um, 
They're not on a port, so they will eventually succumb to the pressure, which they have. Well, the Union of Britain has taken a massive L in this war because that number has significantly dropped as shown by the loss of manpower. So, technocracy has been achieved. We, we have three choices now. We can just stay in North America and perfect our North American technate. We could go to arms against the entire world, or we can... Um, create like-minded technates across the globe. I, I am sorry, but I am I am going straight in for this one. Straight in. I don't care if I increase world tension by 100%. It's already at 100%. Eh, maybe, maybe I <laughs> I should not have done that. I now have zero rubber. Oh well, it looks like I will have to invest in synthetic refineries, but that is a okay by me. So uh, since we have war goals on the whole world, um. I'm just going to go ahead and start slowly but surely taking over places because it's all core territory so it's not going to hinder my progress whatsoever. Well from the looks of things I've just cut off their entire army so I I won't be shocked if they they die very soon. But if we event here we could have Papa Hemi or um, Ernest Hemingway take over or the technocratic council to take over but um, no I don't want either of those. We're keeping big Harold around. Harold has done too much good to be replaced now. Well, there goes the Central American Republic. Let's go ahead and annex all that wonderful core territory. The Union of Britain is continuing to sacrifice divisions by sending them to North Africa, which I'll just never fully understand why they continue to do this, because it is completely and utterly pointless. I love how people keep embargoing me. It's not going to be a massive concern for us if we get embargoed. The only thing I'm lacking is rubber. So once we resolve that issue, which will be very soon because I'm just going to focus on researching all of the rubber stuff now. So the synthetic refineries produce so much and oh my days, that's a nice wee encirclement. And did I just see Russia potentially being in the Allies now or the Entente? No, they have just also declared war in the Third International. Let's see how well this naval invasion goes in Venezuela because we can quickly knock them out by literally taking like a few cities. Well, Caracas has fallen. We've actually split them into two. Uh, what? The Lubkowitz Empire has joined the Entente. I, I think that's a very silly idea, but fair enough. Well, there goes Venezuela. Right, well, I, I don't know what the hell is going on now in this game. Yugoslavia is at war with the Entente somehow. Russia is at war with the Entente. The Entente is basically at war with everybody but me. Uh, and I'm about to join in it. Brazil is going to push forward through... Um, you know, Colombia and Venezuela, but ah, that's that's fine. We can we can deal with that. Actually, I might just leave these 23 divisions. Do you know, the one non-aggression pact I'll sign will be with the Russians for the time being. Why not? Oh no, what terrible shame. I accidentally declared war on Canada. Oh, oh no. I, how, how will we ever, <laughs> ever survive? And obviously, Brazil will be called in and they will start pushing forward, but I think that's the least of our concerns. My main goal is to take Vancouver as humanly poss- quickly as bleh, English. Um, get that as quickly as possible. The Lubkowitz Empire is a major, however I'm hoping that the Russians or someone- that How are they still not- how, how are they still alive at this point? I'm hoping somebody's gonna kill them off. Oh, the fall of Prague, that, that bodes well. Yep, Lubkowitz Empire is gone. I'm gonna just start pushing. The West Indies Federation back, though, that's that's not going to happen. And I'm just hoping we can take out Vancouver soon, because it's going to be a pain in the backside if we can't. Oh, we got across the river, so Vancouver is falling as we speak. And it has fallen. The Canadians are very close to capitulation. Where is the capital now? Ah, it's Victoria. King Edward has fleed Canada, and Canada is gone. I will eat up Canada. Cease fire with the Entente. The Entente's dead. There is no Entente. Okay, we've landed in Brazil. We're starting to push forward. We're also pushing through the blinking Amazon rainforest, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Oh no, Alaska. What a hard war that was. They actually have a fleet as well. You're kidding me on. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Thank, thank you. Well, Brazil is almost dead and we're going to just continue to secure all of South America at this point. Because that looks like it's a little bit of a... Well, we'll just let them two weaken each other. And our evasion of Porto Alegre is going very, very nicely. Ah, perfect. Brazil is now mine. And so is Argentina. Oh, my days. Germany's dead. Oh, my days. I might have to liberate it. Europe from Russia. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Ecuador. <laughs> just free real estate, really. 
had chili is on their way out, I think. I know Peru was actually helping me out, but I might as well just invade them as well and just put them out their misery. Yeah, uh, gotta say, nice death stack in here by the uh, the third international. Oh, in fact, they're very, very dead in here now. Well, Lima's under siege, so Peru should be dying soon. Japan's cancelling on aggression. We got little pockets of little third international troops. Oh, there goes Peru. Let's go ahead and take their territory. We've almost secured all of North and South America, which is fantastic for us. Yeah, Cuba looks like it's pretty damn stacked, not gonna lie. Although we have landed, so that should help us out significantly. Yeah, Havana's about to fall. Havana has fallen. Guantanamo Bay has fallen. Cuba has, d has fallen. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for the Dominican Republic because this is such overkill. The amount of divisions we're using just to take them down. Well, this has been an absolute destruction of Haiti. Next destination is uh, Africa, which, oh my days, what are they what are they playing at in here? Main reason I thought about Africa next is if I take out South Africa, I can uh, get more chromium, which is going to be always beneficial to us. So, And plus, they are in the third international, so we liberate them and then we push north. Oh well. We're all good on, a, uh, on resources again. Ah, fantastic. This this is fantastic. Because everything's cores. Oh, instantly. Instantly impacts us so nicely. Well, Third International have been basically booted out of Africa. They just control a little bit in Madagascar, which we will deal with in time. Sorry, South Rhodesia. It is time for you to die as well. Well, we've landed in Madagascar, we'll just go ahead and unite that under our rule, and then we'll send divisions over here to deal with the Congo. Eh, uh, oh, okay. The Third National's pretty much dead. Um, fantastic. I should probably do some more involvement in that war, because I do obviously want to take as much... Oh, there goes the Commune of France. Okay, I guess what we'll do is we will ask for military access to you, and we will send out all of those divisions to... Even you, to naval invade the Union of Britain. Well, we've successfully landed in Southern Ireland, so we're going to go ahead and secure all of it, and then we'll, uh, once 30 days' time, we'll be taking on the Union of Britain. London has fallen. I'm hoping this is just helping get our score back up ever so slightly, because right now the Commonwealth of Nations is going to be taking a large portion of everything. Leeds has fallen. Everything's falling. They're dead. Okay, 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 okay. How are we doing this? Well, I want all of... Oh, the thing is, I'll actually be able to take a ridiculous amount of stuff because it's not going to cost me that much points to take everything because it's all core territory for me. Yeah, we'll just take on the Congo. Those divisions can deal with that. I'm going to send a couple of these guys over to... Actually, no, let's just go heavy-handed. Wow, um... Yugoslavia, you might be in a spot of bother here. The Russians are coming for you. I love how Spain has been fighting a civil war for like the last like seven, eight years. And any Americans just coming along and absolutely destroy them. Well, sadly, the time has come for the French national state to be destroyed because I'm currently going to invade Dahomey. So, yeah. Sorry, France. I know I helped you earlier on in this campaign, but it's time for you to end now. Well, we have absolutely decimated them. We did lose a couple of divisions, sadly, before we could uh, prevent them from being crushed, but hey-ho. So it's a good thing we're dealing with the American Enclave, because obviously there are Americans who betrayed us and left the nation, so, yep, it's time to put them in their place. Well, I think we'll go ahead and deal with the Cairo Axis. I've never seen the League of Arab States faction form before, but we'll probably deal with them as well. Actually, no, we probably won't, actually. So then that opens in our front with the Russians, which I don't really want to begin with. I just want to take control of the Suez Canal, really. That's all I'm interested in. So, hello, Egypt. Damn, all that remains of Africa that's not under our control right now is uh, Djibouti. So let's go ahead and deal with them. Well, that's uh, North America, South America, and Africa all secured. So we're three continents down, but we still have a lot of work to do at this point. Sorry, Netherlands, but you're going to be key to helping me defeat the Russians. Well, there goes the Netherlands. Welcome. Right, guys, I'm going to leave that episode there because um, I've I've simply had enough. <laughs> that's that's to put it lightly. And to keep it PG, I've simply had enough. Uh, I've recorded for three hours against Russia, the war, the, the big war, um, and it is the worst thing I've played on this 
for quite a while now. It is pain, and I'm I'm not going any further. As you can see, it's 1948. I'm I'm not going any further. I got to 1951, and I think I got to maybe halfway through Germany, and I'd taken over the Balkans. That, that's that's how much progress I'd made. And how many men had been lost so far in total in that war? 17 million men. So it's it's awful. It's awful, and I'm not doing it. So, and I'm not doing a world conquest. We've taken over three continents out of the seven possible in the world. So I think we've had a pretty successful game, and we have spread technocracy far and wide. So I think we can call this somewhat of a success. But yes, I'm not going any further. If you're disappointed, I do apologise. But everyone knows that world conquest on Hearts of Iron 4 suck ass. So yes, I will catch you all next week for another episode of the series. So until then, do take care. Cheer bye, then out.